Getting ready for the next GMTK Game Jam? I've received a few comments on last year's video asking for prep advice, so let's dive into my process to help you crush it. While these examples are focused on individual jammers, all the suggested websites are collaborative and can be used by teams too. Starting with Notion, which is a free website and app focused on organisation. This year I set mine up with Widget to show the length of time left until the end of the jam, the theme once it's been announced, and quick links for websites I'm likely to need. I've also got individual pages for brainstorming, design, art and programming. Once the jam has actually started, I will adjust these as I need. Alongside Notion, I will be using Pinterest to brainstorm ideas for both general concepts and more specific art inspiration. This was my Pinterest board from last year, and if you've seen my submission, I'm sure you can see the similarities. Another website that works well with Pinterest is Milano. I wish I could say they've sponsored this video, but alas, they have not. I may not use Milano myself this year, as I find Pinterest more effective, but I thought it would still be a useful suggestion. Here is an example of how I've used it for a different project. While it is free, there is a limit on the number of cards you're able to use. The final websites I'd recommend are Google Drive and GitHub, both of which are used for backing up and sharing files. GitHub as a whole is better for source control. However, for sharing assets individually or backing up larger files, such as the final build, I'd recommend Google Drive. Finally, on to game engines. To put it simply, if you're looking to do a game in 3D, your main options are Unreal Engine or Unity. For 2D, it's Unity or Godot. However, if you're not comfortable with programming in any capacity, there are also visual websites such as Scratch or Construct3, which I'd also recommend looking at. And if you're not sure if you'd like to do 2D or 3D, I'd recommend having a play with the engines to see what you're comfortable with. Personally, I will be using Godot, as I'd like to improve my understanding and it's also very jam friendly. Godot is open source and a fast growing engine for indie developers. As a final tip, Although the itch page is editable after the jam is finished, I like to do the branding of it before submitting so that I know that everything is sorted and I don't have to stress anymore as soon as the jam is over. Here are a few pages I have decorated. Hopefully this quick little video has helped you feel more confident with planning for the jam and I wish you all the best of luck. Don't forget, the most important thing is to have fun. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And if you'd like to see my progress during the jam, I'm hoping to stream it on Twitch. Thank you to my Golden Mango supporter, Devil Source. See you after the jam!